you just get so few ivory dice in this game. It's like eh, it's it's not like uh, Wild Arms 2 or or Wild Arms. It's not like the Wild Arms games where you get the lucky cards and the Gela cards and Wild Arms 3 and such. I have returned with the dragon. about what? Eh, other than Rasso, I really didn't have a lot of trouble out of the Imperial troops. It's kind of interesting, you know, because the, they, the Empire is supposed to be, you know, evil. But the Imperial troops in this game really only harass, uh, Thule. did make Fulu angry, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> So yeah, basically that's what happened. Uh, General Run kind of, he marched into the capital here, hoping to get an audience with the first emperor to uh, kind of convince him to, you know, not destroy the entire world. Punish not our children. Ryu's not really a god. Yeah, you know what? Thinking back on Breath of Fire 4, Ryu might be the protagonist that we control, but Nina has really been the main motivator of the entire game. She is probably the single... I mean, they say that, you know, they... You know, they talk about how, you know, oh, all these characters have been caught up in... Ryu's destiny in uh, everything, but and they're being swept along, but Nina has been the main motivator for pretty much everything that has happened in the game. Uh, it's her sister that you were looking for. She's the one that decided that uh, to help Ryu. 
she has spent the entire game defending Ryu. She has come up with idea after idea of what they should do next. Uh, she spoke up on Ursula's behalf and got Ursula to join the party to take them to the, con the other continent to the capital. So, you know, Dace hit the nail on the head there. Uh, Ryu is under Nina's thumb. She's quite honestly been the main motivator for the pretty much everything he's done in the game. a brief bit of vulnerability from Ursula. Now, in uh, this version of the game, <laughs> so yep, there's the final dungeon. Now, they actually, uh, will, uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, all the soldiers and the general are gone there. I don't want to go through that side of Cheeto. I want to go through the front gate so I can stay at the end. In the original script for Breath of Fire 4, uh, General Run actually survives to the end. And, and I'll, he shows up in the end credits. And I'll actually, when we get to the end credits, I'll tell you what he does in the end credits. But I do believe he actually died there. So, yeah. It's kind of sad because he is potentially a very, very interesting character, and I'll save over this one. Oh, excuse me. So, here we are, the final dungeon. Uh, I've got a little extra money. Since I'm here, I might as well stock up on more ammonias, even though I'm probably not going to use the ammonias I have. That's more than enough ammonias. <laughs> but anyway. Welcome to the final dungeon. Set up camp. Talk to our party one last time. Yep. Ursula and Sias. <laughs> Let's go. All right. 
peek in on my fairies real fast. Make sure no, none of my fairies are dying or anything like that. Because I'd hate that. Good job notice. Those are probably... Yeah, your troop level's going up. Every time you use a... Uh, fairy magic attack spell... Uh, your troop level goes up on your barracks. So basically, every time I would use War Shout or Fairy, they'd get a level up. And uh, it actually does increase the effectiveness of your... Uh, fairy Magic. 95. Why is it going down? Hmm. It's kind of... Her. Makes me does... Makes me kind of wonder. I don't need any more. I don't need anything from you, so. Let's put you on food duty. Alright. Ah, damn it. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. That should keep the food maxed. I don't think you have to have the food maxed to keep fairies from dying. I think there's like a threshold. Uh, but I like to have the food maxed. Just because I'm anal like that. I, I don't want any of my fairies to starve to death. So anyway, let's go into the castle now. This way, we can go around here and grab that treasure chest. And in this treasure chest, you find a healing ring. Uh, for the most part, worthless. It's an accessory that, if you have it equipped, uh, switching a person in the back row for one turn will heal any status effect in that one turn in the back row. Uh, the way I think you have to be spend three rows in the back row, three turns in the back row, uh, defaultly to cure a status ailment. Oh, you want to go another round? Because I will totally go another round with you. Oh, okay. Now you want to speak. We're going to ride the giant magical doggy. Welcome to the final, final dungeon. The true final dungeon of the game. Not a big fan of this place, honestly. Uh, it is big, it is confusing, and I find it very, very irritating. There's a lot of locked doors, but uh, thankfully there is a save point and a place to rest and get your AP back. So that's very nice. Save here one more time. Need to bring in version. Do forgive me, but I actually have to cut this a little short today, so uh, I just got a phone call that uh, I have to go take care of something. So I'm gonna have to call it here. Uh, we did get some progress here, so that, that's pretty good. Uh, we 
killed a boss, made it into the final dungeon proper, and I got to the safe point here. Uh, yeah, so next time on Breath of Fire 4, we're going to go into the final dungeon. Ooh, ah. So I hope to see you then.